Hi, I'm Karin. Welcome back to my kitchen. I saved some trimmings from the hogs last weekend and I've got ground pork on my hands. I'm craving bright flavors. It's glorious outside so the windows are open. It's the perfect opportunity for frying something. So naturally, I called up my sister Luwing because I absolutely love the way she makes her egg rolls. Hi Karin! I hope you have a good time making the egg roll today. We're actually going to do a two-part video. Today we're covering the egg rolls. And then day two, we're going to use those egg rolls to make my favorite rice vermicelli noodle salad. It's called Bung Pit Nu Ya Za. And we'll talk about making the uh, fish sauce condiment, Nook Chom. Nook Mum Yum in Vietnamese. What she said. With just a couple pounds of pork and a few other ingredients, you can have fantastic egg rolls. You can find all of these things at an Asian grocery store, but we'll also talk about substitutions along the way. You can adjust to your liking. I'm taking some of these uh, mung bean noodles. I'm not gonna use this whole pack. And we're going to soak them in some warm or hot water for a few minutes, take them out, and then chop them. We'll incorporate that into the egg roll. We just want to submerge and soak these until they're tender. In the meantime, we're soaking some dried wood ear mushrooms in almost boiling water. I'm not going to give you exact measurements for this. That is how the expert does it. Sorry if that's annoying. Not really. Luang likes more meat and less stuff in her egg rolls. These wood ear mushrooms are nice and soft, and I'm just going to cut them into thin strips. You can substitute with any mushroom that you like. Most grocery stores have some kind of dried mushroom, usually by the produce section. And if you don't like mushroom, omit it altogether. I'm going to chop these green onions, starting at the base, because I actually want some of the whites in, in these egg rolls. I'm going to finely grate one carrot and add it in. The other two carrots I'm going to set aside and uh, pickle for our rice noodle salad. Now we're just going to mince some onion and garlic. We don't want the onion to take over, but it should have a good presence. So now we just need to add salt and pepper and then test it. Normally I'm a fan of fresh ground pepper and everything, but I actually like the mildness of this here. Honestly, I don't use a whole lot because personally, I think the magic is within the dipping sauce. You really want to mix these by hand. Oh, this smells heavenly. The ratio of meat to veggies is looking good and it's easy to work with. I can't believe I almost forgot the most important ingredient. Don't tell Elaine. These are crispy fried shallots and you can get them at any Asian grocery store. We're going to add a healthy handful to our egg roll mix here. Now we can mix and taste for seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And then we're ready to roll. Now you'll find a bunch of different options for egg roll wrappers. The wrapper that you use is incredibly important. In an Asian grocery store, you'll find something like this in the freezer section, and then there are a bunch of different brands. Luang recommends this one. If you go to a place like Whole Foods, you might find something like this. You can also use rice paper, the kind that you have to soak a little bit in water. Um, it's a little more finicky and hard to work with, um, but it does work. And during wrapping, you don't want to add too much filling. If you use a scoop like this, um, it really makes it easier to make consistent sized egg rolls. It's all about the filling to wrapper ratio. Now that these are all scooped out, I'm going to shape them into little logs, just like, like this. Ensure that there is at least two layer of the wrapper all around the egg roll. Getting the right size of filling will help achieve this. This will give that crispiness uh, to the egg roll and that's what makes a good egg roll. I'm beating one egg and we'll use that to seal these guys up. Start your roll, turn in the sides, and roll through. You can freeze them immediately after you wrap them. What you can also do is flash fry them it will keep their shape better. I'm cooking these all the way today. I can't wait to eat them. I've heated oil to 350 in an electric fry pan, but you can also use a pot. Check to see that the inside reaches 160 degrees or cut one open. And we're in business. Luang, thank you so much. You're the best. These are phenomenal on their own, and I can't wait to put them on a salad tomorrow. My friend Erin will give us a really cool pairing for both. I'm Karin. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen. Have a great start to your week, and I'll see you tomorrow. So naturally, a cold up is I'm not going to give you exact measurements for this. Sorry if that's really annoying. Let's see.